All right, boys, so we've almost completed every bit of content there is in Update 20. We've mastered the Mammoth Fruit, we upgraded the Song Fruit, but there's one thing we haven't obtained yet, the Shark Anchor. Now, I heard this weapon is really tedious to obtain, but we're just gonna have to mess around and find out. Let's get right into it. And all right, so according to the wiki, the first step to obtain Shark Anchor is you needed to obtain a Monster Magnet from the Shark Hunter. So it says the Monster Magnet is used to spawn the Leviathan Sea event and obtain the Shark Anchor. And it says it's obtained from being crafted by the Shark Hunter NPC after Terror Draw and Shark Tooth Necklace have been crafted. No idea what that means, but let's go ahead and find this shark NPC and see what we can do next. Tooth necklace, terror draw, and locked. Okay, let's look at tooth necklace. We need some sort of materials to craft that, and then we need some sort of materials to craft the other one too, I'm guessing. Terror draw? Yeah, we need two materials to craft that too. But where do we get these materials? What the hell? So after looking at the wiki, it appears that in order to get these materials, we need to craft the terror draw and the shark necklace. There's only one way you can get it, and that's from sea events. So I went to my private server. I got my boy Sage Red one here, and he's going to leave the way and we're going to be farming together to get this because he's also trying to get the drop. Let me follow right behind my boy Sage. There we go. Yes, sir. Take me to where we're supposed to go, my boy. Okay, so I guess we got to go in the back of Tiki Island. You guys can start to see these rocks over here. Wait, how the hell is he flying? Oh, wait, I'm flying too now. <laughs> yes, sir. So this right here off the side is the danger meter. This is a new feature that got added. You guys can see this little bar is going up little by little and the more it goes up, the higher chance we have of a sea event spawning. There goes level four extreme. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting a little scared. I'm getting a little scared. What's about to happen? We're about to get up to level five right now oh here we go rough sea rough sea it could be a terror shark but it could also be like four other events sea beast okay 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 sea beast boom let's just take care of him pretty easily all right that boy's under half he's almost dead yes sir easy work easy work couple more hits couple more hits and there he goes okay so that was just a false alarm it was just a normal sea beast damn that did a lot of damage to our damn boat that's not good that is not good wait 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 wait. three sea beasts just spawned like that oh my gosh what is that are those sharks down there hold on hold on hold on why are there sharks down there all right this is not good this is not good bro our, our, our ships are definitely about to be destroyed by this okay let me kill this shark because i think i need to get drops from those shark tooth oh yeah i need those i need those okay hold on hold on what i need to do is i need to get v4 i need the extra damage we got human v4 now we get the extra damage we gotta deal with this rumbling waters we gotta deal with this rumbling waters bro all right that's one sea beast dead pretty much that's one sea beast dead we gotta get a lot of money from this there we go both of them are down now both of them are down okay what do we do now both our boats just got destroyed bro all right we went and got more boats and we decided we're gonna chill between the four and five area just because what the hell is that is that, is that another event Okay, I guess we got another event. It's like a ghost ship or something. Let's go ahead and just quickly take care of these boys. Maybe we'll get some other uh, materials. There's another one over there as well. Okay, so we got to watch out for that. We got to watch out for that. What are these boys down here? Okay, let's take care of these boys. It's M1 and 1. Okay, we got Fool's Gold. We definitely need those. I saw in the earlier on the wiki. We need that material. So Fool's Gold, we need that. All right, let's take care of this other ship right here. Boom. There we go. Three more Fool's Gold. And we got 75 fragments. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oof, Sage's boat is about to die. All right, all right. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. So I guess it's a lot more straightforward than I thought to get the materials because you get the shark tooth just from defeating sharks. You get the fool's gold from defeating those ghost ships. And then I guess you just get the final one from defeating the uh, terror shark. All right, here we go. Another ghost ship event. All right, that's interesting. That's interesting. I think there's also some sharks attacking me down here. Is that a fishman? Okay, that's weird. All right, let's go attack these boys before they take care of my ship. Damn, my ship's gone. Did they just disappear just because my ship died? So you literally cannot let your ship die during these events. Otherwise, it just ruins the whole thing. Yo, yo, terror shark just spawned. Where is he at though? Oh, there he is right there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get him away. Let's get him away from the thing. Let's get him away from the boat i'm pretty sure if the boat gets destroyed it despawns this guy is a lot more anticlimactic than i thought bro i thought he'd be a lot bigger than this but you know what i'm saying it took a while to get him to spawn almost 30 minutes okay he has 150,000 health but with us three here i'm not gonna lie we kind of packing him up bro we kind of packing him up and you can m1 him oh it's ggs it's ggs bro it's ggs <laughs> boom hit him with a thousand strikes yes sir okay okay hold on i'm on him one 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 Dark Slash. Okay, okay. Look, look, look. His health is literally just getting eaten up right now, bro. All right, all right. Let's send one of them. Let's send one of them to death. Let's send one of them to death. Spam him. Hopefully, I get what I need just from this one guy. Don't want to have to do this thing multiple times. Uh, bro. CB spawned on top of it? Okay, okay. This is this is OD. This is OD, bro. <laughs> this is OD. What is going on? What the? What the bro, my health. Help. My health. Bro, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, bro. I'm not dying like this. We got we to gotta beat this boy. We got to beat this boy. No, 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 no. Ah, bro. Bro. This is... No, there's no way I died like that, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that boss is no joke. I, I was talking crap, but uh, we got we got clapped up. All right, we got another terror shark, and this time we not losing, bro. We not losing. I don't know how we folded last time, but we got four people here now. Thirty-two thousand health. We got it. We got it, boys. We got it. I ain't even worried about this time. I ain't even worried about this time. 
Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And he is dead. All right, we got a mutant tooth and we got 300 fragments. I don't know if that's what I needed, but let's go check it. All right, so according to the wiki, in order to craft the first thing we need, which is a shark tooth necklace, you need one mutant tooth and five shark tooth. So we did need that mutant tooth. And right now I have one mutant tooth and we have seven shark tooths. Okay, so we can go ahead and already craft that. Let's go ahead and do that. Where's that shark boy at? Not over here. I think he's right up here in this room. Up oh, there goes right there. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him. Let's craft the first thing, which is the tooth necklace. There we go. Boom. First thing out the way. Now we just need to craft the terror draw, which requires one terror eyes, two mutant tooths, ten fool's gold, and five shark tooths. So either way, we need to defeat more shark terrors. Bro, we went deeper into the rough waters, and now the danger level's at a question mark, and I could barely see anything. Like, what is this? I swear some crazy stuff is about to spawn on us, bro. All right, boys, we have another shark terror right here. He's about to die. Boom. We got mutant tooth. Okay, we didn't get the eye that we needed. But we still need mutant tooth anyway, so that's fine. Once again, we have a terror shark right over here. He's about to be KO'd. We got another mutant tooth. Okay, so we have every requirement other than the eye now. All right, here we go. Here we go. One more. We're on the next one. Hopefully, this gives us the thing we need. And we just get another mutant tooth. Okay. All right, let's take care of this thing. Boom. There we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. Come on, please give me it. Yes, terrorize. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, bro. That took so long to get it we got the terror eyes and we got another mutant tooth okay so now we got another piece of the puzzle we can craft the next thing to craft the terror draw there we go we have all the materials now that we've crafted both the shark necklace and the terror draw a new option should appear when i talk to the shark hunter again let's go to craft there we go monster magnet let's see what we need for this we gotta get two more eyes but this is the last step i'm pretty sure once we get this monster magnet it should be easy all right we got another terror shark but it's a weird phenomena he's like invisible but you could still hit him like i don't know hold on like look at this you see i'm hitting him right now I don't understand how this works, bro. I really don't, but I guess let's just try to do it. Let's just try to do it. Hopefully, we'll get an eye from this. Oh, there he goes. He's, he's visible again. He's visible again. All right, there we go. And we got the eyes. We got the eyes. All right, W, W, W. We just need one more eye, and then we can do the magnet. I don't know how, but somehow we got into a server that has two of these terror sharks, bro. So, hey, bro. Hey, bro. We're going to fight them, and hopefully, we get the drop we need. Two at once is crazy, though, bro. Two at once is crazy. Okay, hold on. Boom. Let me get up. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, we got the terrorize. We got the terrorize from that one. Okay, hold on. Let me do this one again. Let me do the second one. We got another terrorize. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's W. That's W. That's W. That's crazy that we even got two to spawn right there. And the fact that we got two in a row is also good. We have three terrorize. Now we can farm in some of the magnet. Okay, so now that we got that, we can go back to the crafter dude, wherever he is. He should be over here. There we go. Now we can finally craft this thing, the monster magnet, which I believe is the last step. Now we need to find another other terror shark except this time we'll use monster magnet and it'll give us a chance to get the uh shark anchor okay so my boy abyss said in chat now there's a chance for a terror shark to spawn with an anchor on its back and then when it does that it'll take away my monster magnet and i guess i have a chance of getting the uh anchor from that kind of a little bit complicated bro but i guess we'll find out in just a sec okay 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 this is imperative that we don't lose this i think it actually took up my magnet too it did okay this is the one this is the one this is the one let's get him let's get him let's get him i need to deal the most damage to him i'm pretty sure as well so i need to be careful with that yes sir yes sir we're doing good damage we're doing good damage this one has quite a bit more health too it has 195k which is just about what abyss was saying all right all right as far as the actual fight goes it's pretty much the same fight so not too worried about that let's just keep doing the damage just keep doing he's almost dead he's almost dead he's almost dead let's go let's go he's almost dead he's almost dead boom boom oh there we go shark anchor yes sir bro oh my gosh all the hours of hard work bro and we finally did it also we unlocked this new title called terror bringer all right hold on let's check out this new weapon bro let's check this out let's check this out bro there we go it's a legendary weapon 350 mastery for the move golly bro that's insane typhoon toss and armor breaker that's gonna take a while to master out i'm not gonna lie but this thing looks sick bro this thing looks sick look at that thing that looks fire we're on them sun kissed warriors i gotta defeat eight sun kissed warriors Okay, that sounds easy enough. I'm sorry, Sage. I'm about to steal your kill, my boy. But, that, I mean, let's see how much master we get off that one kill. 50, 61. Okay, not bad, not bad. We got our first move at 150, so that might take a little bit. I kind of like how with the M1s, it has this like little water effect, kind of. Like when you M1 them. I think that's kind of fire. Boom. There we go. And there we go. Level 2522. And we're also at 122 mastery. We almost got the first move already. This ain't too bad. Last NPC once again. We can pick up the next quest at the next level. So, we're almost at the max. Here we go, though. About to unlock the next ability or our first ability 155 mastery typhoon toss all right let's check this thing out with typhoon toss Ooh, 
It's kind of like the dough uh, piercing clothesline, bro. Brings him in there too. Okay, I like that, I like that. Let's check that thing out again. Though. Let's see that thing one more time. Typhoon toss. Okay, it pulls him in a little bit, and then it knocks him up. Damn, that knocks him up kind of far. So I don't know how much that's gonna have combo potential, but in terms of like a move, that's fire. I, I like this. I like this already. But once again, this is the last PC. Let me see. Where should I go? Let's go Ice Cream Land. I think Big Mom should be here. Been in this server for hours. Don't see why she wouldn't be here. Big Mom versus a guy with an anchor weapon. Who do you think gonna win, bro? Let's go ahead and find out. Boom, boom, boom. The best thing about this is I can use the strat where I can M1 her, but she can't M1 me. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This is failing badly. This is failing badly. Let's hit her with that Typhoon Toss, though. Yes, sir. God, keep the moves. Boom, boom, boom. Pack her up. Pack her up. Okay, never mind. I'm not packing her up that much. I am not pack. Hold on. Get back in there. Use that Typhoon Toss. Yes, sir. That's how you combo, boys. That's how you combo. I should get a lot of mastery from this NPC. Uh oh, uh -oh. we're about to die. We're about to die. I don't want to do that. Let me pop B3. That's such a satisfying move to hit, bro. I'm excited for this next one, Armor Breaker. Hopefully, it lives up to the first one. All right, another Typhoon Toss. She's right around half health. She'll be packed up soon enough. Bro, there's no way I ended up dying. <laughs> there's no way. Hold on, bro. Let me switch the Buddha. Let me switch the Buddha. Let's make this a lot easier. Let's see if the Buddha glitch still works or if it got patched. All right, so you go shift. Oh, it still works. It didn't even patch it. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought they would. I thought they would this update, but I guess not. All right, round two, Big Mom versus Big Anchor, I guess. Let's see how this works. This is too busted, bro. <laughs> this is too busted. Hold on. Let's see how this looks with Typhoon Toss. <laughs> nah, that AoE is crazy, bro. She, like, th this is too OP. They should have patched this when they had the chance, my boy. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pack her up. We should get a lot of mastery to that. At least get to 200. 196. All right. Boa Hancock versus Big Anchor, bro. Oh, you know what, bro? I don't even need to ask who's going to win. I literally just packed up Big Mom with this. There's no way she's beating me. Hold on. Let me throw out a Typhoon Toss. She's already under half. Like, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. It shouldn't be allowed. There we go. Toss her out once again. And just within seconds, bro, she's already about to be packed up. We're also at 208 mastery now. We still have a lot more to go. I'm not going to lie. 3 to 50 is going to take a while to get to. But while we here, let's go ahead and do a gotcha. You never know. I could get something good. Let's see. Let's see. The Magma Fruits. Oh, that's a new Falcon Fruit model, bro. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think about these new fruit models i'm kind of messing with it for some of them this phoenix fruit uh, i'm not really messing with that like i'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you now this one might actually give me some trouble but let's go ahead and mess around and find out you know what i'm saying boys go ahead and roast me in the comments i'm too tired to even care anyways this boy is about to die let's hit him with a typhoon toss boom and one and one and another kill down the board only 220 mastery damn this is starting to slow down a lot that's like four bosses and we haven't even gotten 50 especially since now we can go on this last island which is the isle champions of course, you got to defeat eight of them, especially since I could just group up all these boys like this one by one. Pack them up, pack them up, hit them all with this. And they're GG's. Typhoon toss. And there we go. Last happy C right there. At this rate, I might end up getting max level before I even get to max mastery on this thing. And we're only at 289 mastery of the weapon, bro. <laughs> Somehow I had a feeling I'd get to max before I even max this thing out. But let me cook real quick. I got a method to where I can get a lot of mastery quick. All right, we're in second C. Let me teleport to the lab real quick. Let's go down here. Let's switch over to Cyborg Race. I feel like even to this day with a new island and new NPCs, Chocolate Land is still the best place for mastery. And y'all about to see why. Let's just go crazy for a little bit let's get all the npcs gathered up right here all right here we go right here we got v4 and y'all about to see why i love cyber v4 so much first of all we're already at 300 mastery and that's just with so quickly grinding here but look at this when i hit one npc it hits all these npcs so i can literally just autopilot this thing and grind really quick and I don't even have to wait for the NPCs to spawn back because of the cycle I go through. So I get on this island right here, and it's just a complete full cycle. And I think this is the most efficient way to grind mastery in this game. Already 311 mastery. We'll be at max in no time. 325 mastery. 341. 345. And finally, we have 350. And that was all off only one V4. My suffering is about to end. We've unlocked our final ability, Armor Breaker. Hope this thing is fire. Armor breaker oh so we have typhoon toss boom fire ability and then we have armor breaker <laughs> nah, that is heat that is heat i like that i like that <sighs> that is it for the end of this video though boys we completed all the objectives i really like this weapon definitely gonna see myself using it more this was a very tedious video to grind